Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Topper, where we discuss important topics for incoming students. And today I can't imagine a more important topic for families than money. So stay tuned as we go over various items such as tuition, scholarships, financial aid, campus employment, and billing. The first thing I asked particularly by parents is, how much is this gonna cost me? Well, the good news is that WKU's average annual cost is 14% below the national average among public four-year institutions. To view our latest rate of tuition and estimated cost of attendance, you can visit wku.edu slash admissions slash cost. Our tuition rates are broken into three categories, in-state, out-of-state, and the tuition incentive program rate, or what's commonly referred to as TIP. The tip rate is a discounted tuition rate for certain out-of-state counties. To see if your state's county is part of our tuition incentive program, visit wku.edu slash tip. The next thing students usually ask about is, how can I earn a WKU scholarship? We offer a variety of scholarships for beginning freshmen. Our academic merit awards and targeted awards are given on the basis of academic success. So as long as you meet the GPA and test score requirements, as well as having been admitted prior to the February 1st scholarship deadline, then those students will receive a letter in the mail detailing their awarded amount. To see these scholarships, visit the link provided. Our competitive scholarships are determined by the top dollar scholarship application, offering over 1,200 competitive scholarships for a variety of reasons. In order to, for the student to be eligible, they must have completed the application by the February 1st deadline. After you receive your admission status, make sure to head over to wku.edu slash top dollar to fill that out. Now, if you're unable to meet the February 1st deadline for beginning freshman scholarships, WKU offers returning student scholarships for later years with the top dollar scholarship application. So you will have more opportunities to fill it out in the following years. Now, another common question we often hear is, what if I receive an outside scholarship? WKU does accept external scholarships and is there, and there's no deadline for accepting those. So checks can be mailed to our scholarship office, but make sure to include your student name and ID on the check. To learn more about our scholarships, you can reach out to our scholarship office at 270-745-2755 or email scholarships at wku.edu. Another great way that students can receive help paying for college is the free application for federal student aid, or what is commonly referred to as FAFSA. When filling out the FAFSA, it asks which schools would like your financial information to be sent to. Make sure you have entered WKU so we can process what you qualify for. WKU will then send out an award letter this spring through your WKU email account, detailing how you can accept your grant and or loan. Students who complete the FAFSA may be asked to verify their information by Kia. Even out-of-state students will be asked to go through this organization. Essentially, they just want to make sure that your information on your FAFSA is complete and accurate. So, if you're selected for verification, you must reach directly out to Kia, not WKU. And just for clarification, Kia stands for Kentucky Higher Education Assistance Authority, not the car company. You can learn more at kiaverify.com. Another thing students are often curious about is working on campus. WKU employs many students in a variety of positions, ranging from dining services to office work to even guiding our campus tours. Students are eligible to work up to 20 hours during the fall and spring semester. To be eligible, undergraduate students must be enrolled in at least six hours, have a current FAFSA on file, and maintain a satisfactory GPA. To see current job postings and learn more about working on campus, check out the link listed. Incoming students for the fall 2018 can start applying sometime around June and July. Another great opportunity that students have is the WKU Learn and Earn program, which partners with local businesses and corporations in the area to employ students for wages and or scholarship opportunities. To learn more about these partnerships and how to apply, visit wku.edu slash learn and earn. Now that we've discussed the different ways in which to help pay for college, we can start talking about how students actually will pay. 
WKU offers interest-free monthly payment plans through our partnership with Tuition Management Systems. Students and their parents have the option of choosing a semester payment plan for the fall and spring terms. WKU offers a variety of methods that students can also pay. Payments can be made in person, by mail, online, and over the phone. But please note that if you choose to pay with a credit card, there will be a small fee added to your payment. Please be sure to include a billing email address when filling out your payment information. This will be an opportunity for other parties on your payment information to be included, such as a parent or a guardian. If for any reason a student who is registered for the courses ends up deciding not to attend WKU, it is up to the student to make sure that they withdraw from all of their courses to avoid being charged. To learn more about payment and various payment methods, visit wku.edu slash bursar. Finally, it is important to point out the bank mobile envelopes incoming students receive in the mail. Bank Mobile is a company used to set up how you receive money from WKU, either through refund checks or payments from an on-campus job. You can either connect it with an existing bank account or set it up uh, with them as well to have one. So make sure to keep an eye out for a bright green envelope seven to 10 business days after registering for your courses. Paying for college can often be stressful for students. However, WKU is not only continuing to find opportunities for financial support, we also want to make sure that we ensure making those payments go smoothly. The WKU Office of Admissions and Scholarship Office are available to help students and families guide them in the right direction and answer any questions. So please, feel free to reach out to us with any of your questions and contact the information listed. Make sure to stay tuned for more Let's Talk Topper videos.